In this video, I'm going to be putting on the MXT 10 foam limbs on this ATFX and getting it set up for indoor states. So yeah, my wife and I will be shooting out, shooting that. We've been working on her uh, arrow setup, building new arrows for her. If you haven't seen those new videos, by the way, I'd check them out if you're new to archery and wanting to get better at building arrows for yourself or selecting them. I'll put links in the description below and a card at the top there where you can find the playlist for that. But yeah, I'm gonna be putting some new limbs on this uh, and getting some basic alignment and center shot. And then uh, we're gonna go shoot, both of us, my wife and I are gonna go shoot 20 yards. She'll shoot her arrows for the very first time just to play with them. And I'm gonna work on some basic preliminary tuning setups. And so I figured I might as well record this so you guys can uh, see the journey and see me tinkering with some new limbs on this riser here, shooting them as bare bow and getting a setup and a basic tune at 18 meters for uh, states, which is in a couple weeks now. So like I said, um, basically I'm just gonna take these MXT-10 limbs that I've already done a bit of a review on, shooting on that riser right there, the Meta DX. Uh, I would like to be using the Meta DX, but I'm not sure yet on uh, World Archery's ruling. They're working on making a judgment if this is legal to use in Barebow or not, specifically because of these right here. This one here says Harmonic Dampener. This says Harmonic Stabilizer. So I'm assuming that World Archery is going to say it's not legal to use with these. Hopefully we can put these in the ends and still shoot those uh, to be legal because that it, it feels so good. And I wish I could get a bear bow that would feel as dead as that feels. So I'm going to put these limbs on this bow because I like those limbs a little bit better. I have them, so I might as well use them. And uh, I'm going to go through some basic tuning setup stuff because... I'm just kind of winging it at this point and I need to nail it down, tie on some permanent knocking points. Not in this video, another one. Uh, you know, basic tournament prep stuff that I really should have been doing. I just haven't had time and I've been having a lot of fun just shooting anyway. So you know, now is a good opportunity with a couple weeks left to a tournament to make sure everything's dialed in and ready and I have all my measurements in case something goes wrong. I really like the MXT GFs. Those have been great. The graphene foams, those are last year's model limbs. Um, but I have these newest limbs here and I figured I might as well play with them and give them a shot and see how they feel on bare bow. I'll probably be doing another video because I do have these in the foam version as well. So I'll probably do a wood versus foam comparison test and do it very thorough, put them on the same riser and get some speed tests and some stuff like that just to see which is better and which I really prefer and give a little bit more of a little data driven thing that people can reference when they're trying to decide between foam and wood limbs. I do like the feel of wood limbs personally, uh, but I like the snappiness of the foam limbs a little bit better. So really all I gotta do, uh, I've gotta get these on here, get my tiller set pretty close to where I like it, which is just about a quarter inch of negative tiller, a little bit less than that. Get my brace height, string alignment, or you know, limb alignment and center shot set. And that'll be good to go. So I've got six and three quarter here and seven and a three sixteenths, almost seven and a quarter here. So I almost got a half inch of tiller split. I've really been liking this ATFX and how it feels with bare bow. If I do my job, I don't ever hit my arm and I almost really never need an arm guard unless I don't use the correct technique and then I do hit my arm. Uh, but it's been, it's been really good. I've liked it a lot. I'm gonna go a quarter out and a quarter in, top and bottom. If I do any more than that, I'm gonna have to unstring it. Seven and an eight, so still got a ways to go. So I got six and seven eighths on the top and seven and just over sixteenth on the bottom. So that's just about a quarter inch bigger on the bottom. So I'm gonna call it good there. If you're interested at all in learning how I do tune this stuff, uh, I'll put links in the description below to the tuning playlist, the tuning series playlist that I did, as well as I'll put a card at the top up there. But also you can check out uh, this book here. It's called Tuning for Performance. It's a book I wrote that takes you through 
how I tune my bow from out of the box to being comfortable to go shoot with it at the Olympic Games. And a lot of it applies to bare bow, especially in the basic setup principles. And I will, as I continue to learn more and more about bare bow and learn and experiment and do different things, I'll probably do a bare bow addendum or a second edition, including bare bow into that. So keep an eye out for that in the future. But I do need to learn a few things first. I need to learn how to set up stuff for indoors, how to set up stuff for field, and how to set up stuff for outdoors. So I do have a lot of experimenting to do first before I ever took that under my belt uh, because I know there's a lot of different guidelines that you need to make slightly different things happen for bare bow archery. Brace sight's a little low. We're at like eight and a half, about 22 centimeters. I like it right about 22 and a half centimeters, give or take. It's about eight and seven eighths or so, I think. There's 22 and a half, which is eight and seven eighths. Beautiful. Check my knocking point real fast. And I'm right about a quarter inch above center, which is kind of where I figured it's gonna be. Um, I was a half inch above center, but the sniper required a much lower air, uh, knocking point as expected and discussed by many, many people out there. I did do a review of the sniper arrow rest not that long ago as well. So if you're interested in one of these, you should go check that video out too. I'll put links in the description for that one as well. Now I'm gonna align my limbs. I need to put a stabilizer in for this. I'll put a known straight stabilizer in. Now I'm doing this quick and dirty, so I'm not gonna put it in a bow vise, but I am gonna make sure it's as vertical as possible so it's not off kilter. Meaning you don't wanna put any side deflection on your limbs while you're aligning them. Otherwise they'll look like they're falsely out of alignment. Evenly out. They're both to the right. Let's see where the gap is, which one's worse. Top one's out a little bit more than the bottom. I'm gonna start there. Took it too far. Sometimes it helps when you're really, really close. Pull your bow back a couple times and let the string recenter in the grooves and the limbs as they are naturally falling and the limb alignment may change slightly that way. Looks pretty good to me. Put my locks back in. All right, now I need to get an arrow on there, get my center shot set. I'm gonna set it for my 500 uh, maximum recurve RZs. I've been really, really happy with uh, these arrows and how they've been flying and shooting. Uh, I've been really excited about them. Uh, and by the way, everything that I'm using in this video for tools and you know biter blocks and things like that, I'll have links in the description below in case you wanna check any of that stuff out. Uh, my center shot is way far in. I need to adjust the sniper now. Yeah, that was almost a full turn now, so. Probably check and see and make sure the sniper doesn't need to be adjusted. I suspect it will. Get this monstrosity of a stabilizer off. That's a little better. Yeah, the rest is way, uh, it's way far in. So the way the wire starts bending up is supporting the arrow instead of the flat part. So I gotta shimmy that out, unfortunately. Call it good there. Make sure it's extra snug so it doesn't move on me. The drop, I'm gonna set a little lower. So now I'm pretty much set up, ready to go. Get back out there and shoot. Uh, should be good to go. I'm gonna use my 500s. I've got enough of those and some bear shafts. Should probably put some more knocks on them. They've been breaking. Uh, seems like string walking's relatively rough on knocks. So I'll have to figure out a good knock for that for string walking specifically. So I'm gonna go outside and play with it. I might put some Somas or some of the Easton pin knocks on. The gold tip pin knocks just don't seem to be holding up to string walking, at least they're standard uh, regular ones, not the heavy duty pin knocks. So maybe I'll play with those. I don't know, not sure. I gotta do some testing and playing with knocks and see what I like best about them. But now uh, my wife and I are gonna get warmed up and go shoot. She's gonna go outside and shoot her arrows for the very first time. We're not gonna tune them yet just to you know, get her shooting. And then I'm going to be playing with tuning and setup uh, while we're both out there. So we'll head outside. Okay, so Heather's gonna be shooting her new arrows for the first time. Uh, we just shot a couple of arrows just to make sure she wouldn't miss the entire bale. We went and shot one at like 10 and 15. Um, but she still doesn't know her crawl and I'm just gonna shoot. Yeah. I don't remember my crawl. Glimpse. 
sure sound different. Yeah. Yeah. Is that really a thing? What? Oh, they have different lens. I forgot you put yeah. different lens on. Yeah, I put these and the new ones on. And then I don't have the hush pucks on. Oh. Yeah. Nice. So when you change the lens, like what? I don't know. They feel a little different. They might be a little faster. They might be whatever. That's why I hit just a little low. So, I don't know. <laughs> Lotion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and archery. They don't play well. to shoot and have to wait 15 seconds for him to hit the bale. <laughs> so I did put Soma knocks on because my gold tip pin knocks kept cracking. I think the pins on these arrows are a little bit too big. I'm going to shoot a bear shaft. I was leaning back. Huh. Shoot a bear shaft? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you can if you want. What's the reason not to? You might miss, but I don't think you will. Is there any benefit to shooting the bear shaft? Shoot more arrows. Aside from that? You'll see how the tune starts. Alright. And then we'll have an idea. Because your arrows are actually shorter than I thought they were, they're not hanging out a ton, so. Yeah, I'm in the exact same crawl that I was at with my old arrows. Well, we have a lot heavier points, and they're like 50 grains heavier. I see. I was like, wasn't I going to get yeah. some distance out of this? <laughs> no. You will. Just, I will. In the end. I know. I'm just being impatient. Not that I need any distance right now. Not with states. Hit in the very center of the bale towards the right. So oh. is that weak? So that means we can take some weight out of the points for sure. We won't right now, but we will. We didn't exactly use the right double-sided tape. I'm just going to stick it back on. Yeah. Start with that. shoot if you'd like. I'm just going to go mm -hmm. up a half a turn. Okay. Pretty good. Where, right. where is it? Uh, straight left in the black, oh. basically. Good height.
these have a smaller diameter, yeah. um, would it make sense that my plunger might be pushed out too far? Um, it might be too far in. It's hard to, oh, spring tension. Well, so we have no idea where the spring tension is needed. So okay. if you're hitting really far left, then, then you should turn the tension down. Unless you think it's because of the sun. Uh, no, it's most likely because of the arrow setup, plus the tune is super weak, and so we're not quite there yet. So do anything you need to do to get it to go in the middle while you're aiming in the middle. Still showing a little stiff. That crawl's still a little bit off. Not quite figured it out yet. Having to go higher up than normal. I'm gonna go up another half a turn. Hopefully that'll bring the stiffness down a little. My crawl was a little off on that one, I'm not sure. So far I really like these uh, limbs on a bare bow. It feel, they feel really good, they feel more stable than the MXT GWs did, or GFs rather. Uh, these just feel a little bit more stable at full draw and my sight picture is a little better So I don't know if it's because of the limb or I just nailed the tiller split right or I don't know, but They are nice Now well, that one was better must have been my crawl on that other one point up a little. Yeah, also, um, peak. I felt like I looked crazy. Yeah, I'll look. Thanks. Look alright. Your bow's canting a little bit to the left. Okay. That's part of Thank why you're you. hitting left. Yeah. Can I blame that on the sun? Because I can't tell. Maybe. Probably not. I mean, you can use the tree back there as almost a perfect vertical, like the main trunk. True. Um, my left, I can't see it. Is my left and right okay? I mean, my up left, and down, I mean? Yeah, left, up and down is perfect. But I'm left. Left edge of this red, okay. yeah.
high left red. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. Remember to not spend a ton of time aiming. Yeah, I was... I forgot to set my hips, oh, okay. and I'm like, why am I flying all over the I place? See. So, I realized that as I'm... So I come into full drop, and then I'm like working on my left and right in the can, and then I forget that I also have to figure out to put my arrow in the yellow yeah. and push, <laughs> um, so that I'm at full draw forever, because I'm like oh, okay. left and right, left and right, and then yeah. I... Yeah, gotcha. That makes sense. So... I wasn't saying it because you looked bad, I was just saying it because... As a reminder. No, I know. It's a lot better if I'm not always at full draw, yeah. that's for sure. doing not at all getting lucky Really? All three in the yellow? All three. All right. I think that's a good way to end. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> We're calling it quits. It's just too cold here in Florida today. Fair. I mean, it's like 50 degrees, 55. I don't know. It's cold. Too cold for us. It's too cold. Yeah, we don't like this. No. Uh, so we're done for the day. I got my limbs pretty close, which is great. Um, definitely need to go up and wait a little bit more to break down the spine. And we need to finish the video series for her so we can get her tuned, even though she's already <laughs> shooting pretty good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good day. Fair. Yeah, cold day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider hitting the subscription button and the notification bell, as well as the like button. I would appreciate it. Also, please consider supporting my channel if you head to my website, jakekaminski.com. There'll be info and links on Patreon, apparel, books, and equipment sales, PayPal donate button, a PO box to send things to, and above all else, please share this video because there's no better advertising than word of mouth.